So a buddy reached out to me this week because as a part of her master's degree, lucky her, she got to read some William Lane Craig, a fantastic argument against higher education, if ever I've heard one. And look, if, if you haven't read any of William Lane Craig's books, they're pretty unbearably dishonest and obtuse. But she hit me up because all that stuff aside, there's one part that she had to admit was kind of bumming her out. Right Over and over throughout his books, William Lane Craig makes the claim that without God, life is meaningless. Right, He admits that it can still be joyful, it can be fulfilling and praiseworthy, but without the grand existential meaning ascribed to it by the existence of the divine, life in and of itself does not have a meaning. And look, whatever else you want to say about his arguments, that's true and also kind of a bummer. And look, I, I think that we as atheists tend not to face this kind of thing as head on as often as we should, right? Partly because I think we're loath to cede any ground to Christian arguments, let alone William Lane Craig's arguments, but partly because for a lot of us, the existential fear about meaning and our grander place in the universe is what kept us in religion in the first place. And most of us just kind of got over that emotionally, right? The not godiness of the world became so overwhelming that we kind of just had to move on to a lack of belief, whether or not we squared with it in our hearts. But with your permission, I'd like to take a shot, or at least a shot at William Lane Craig. And the first thing I want to point out is that, like, despite what Willie Vanilli might tell you, these are questions that the secular world has spent a lot of time meaningfully addressing, right? Logotherapy is a whole field of psychology, and its conclusions have been applied to practices like CBT or ACT. I mean, we've done a ton of work as a species on being okay with there not being a capital M meaning to life. But what I want to point out for us, like as atheists philosophically, is that what William Lane Craig has is worse than a life without meaning. He has a life with a meaning that is wrong, right? The meaning of life, according to William Lane Craig, is to be Christian and make other people Christian. And while I'm not going to pretend to know what the meaning of life is, I know for damn sure it's not fucking that. And that wrongness matters, right? No amount of financial planning is ever going to make me feel as good as the belief that I have a bucket of leprechaun gold in my garage. No well-performing 401k is ever going to make me feel as happy or as secure as the untold riches my legitimate picture of Bigfoot is going to bring me. But the not realness of those things renders the pleasure that we get from the belief in them moot, right? It doesn't matter how good a meaningful religious life feels, it's not real. And look, I, I wish I had a happy ending for you when it comes to the meaning of life from our end. I mean, spoilers, it, it is what you make it. And that's admittedly pretty lame. But at least we can be comforted that we're not as wrong as William Lane Craig. <laughs> 